Hi everybody, it's Denise Evans, your neighborhood realtor with Cutler Real Estate, and I'm out and about today. And today we are at the William McKinley Presidential Library and Museum, and I'm talking with Kimberly Kenny, who's the executive director. So thank you so much for inviting us in today. Sure. So I wanted to ask you a few questions. Um, now, I've visited the museum several times, and some of my favorite uh, items in the museum are the Street of Shops and the Star County History. What other displays and things do you have here at the museum? Well, here we're in the McKinley Gallery, which is sort of the crown jewel of the history floor. We also have the Keller Gallery, which changes about two or three times a year. We have traveling exhibitions from other museums, and we also have exhibits that are based on our own collections. And then downstairs, we have Discover World, which is an interactive science center. We also have a planetarium that people don't often know we have. It's in between the floors, so you can't see it, just a little door. But behind there is a whole dome, a 60-seat planetarium called the Hoover Price Planetarium. I think I remember being in there as a child, so I guess it's time to go back and, yes, it and check it out. So our son Brad did a movie camp here years ago, and um, he just developed a, a passion for film and went on to graduate from Kent State, and he actually works down at Walt Disney World as a photographer, and I believe that's how we met. And so tell us about your programs for kids and any summer camps or things like that that you have coming up. We, Brad is one of our success stories. We love to point out that you know he went and on and did this for his career. So movie camp um, is one of the summer camps that we do. Uh, we have two weeks of summer camps for science, so it's called a summer science camp, and you can sign up per day or for the whole week. And then um, we do a lot of field trips. Um, that's been not happening with the pandemic, but they are coming back, and we are booked solid for May. So we're really excited to see the kids back and have all the commotion back in the building because a museum's not supposed to be empty and silent so it's been great to have the kids coming back. Good that's glad to hear we're getting back to normal and um, our family has donated uh, several historic items here to the museum so if somebody's watching this video what do they need to do um, to contact you instead of just uh, throwing items away? Right, yeah, we wanna make sure that we stop that from happening so people don't throw things away that we would like. Uh, we build our collection entirely on donations. So there's two types of donations. If it's something, the easy way to explain it is if it's flat. So if it's a book or a photograph or a letter, you would contact our archivist, Mark Holland, to set up an appointment to talk about that. If it's something 3D, if it's furniture or a dress or china or whatever, um, you contact Kate Berger, our collections manager. And they just wanna make sure that we don't duplicate things in the collection, so they like to talk to people about it first. And they, they prefer people to have appointments so that they have the time to schedule, schedule to talk to them about it. So somebody can just go on your website and get their contact information? Absolutely, mckinleymuseum.org. Okay, well thank you so much for inviting us and thanks everybody for watching. And if you would like for me to stop when I'm out and about, here's how you can contact me. And as always, everybody have a great day and thank you. Thank you.